what are tumor markers? So tumor markers are things that uh, typically show up in a blood test. So um, when you have a blood test and your oncologist gives you a printout of your blood test, which you should always ask for, it's really important to keep the printouts, um, they should point to a section um, of the blood test and say, these are the tumor markers or this is the tumor marker. Um, and this will be something that's measured that um, may correlate to the level of cancer in the body um, or the activity of the cancer. Um, this is a very, 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 very inexact science. Um, so in the case of a colorectal cancer, for example, um, there are a couple of common tumor markers, one called CA199 and one called CEA. And these are measured um, maybe once a month. And over time, changes in these may indicate that treatment is working or not working, but it's very inexact. Um, one obvious issue is before someone is diagnosed with cancer, they're not going to have their tumor markers measured. So the oncologist doesn't have like a baseline of what the number should be for you. Um, another issue is there are things that can make tumor markers rise that are not cancer. Another issue is that sometimes um, if the cancer treatment works well, depending on like how the cancer cells die, um, this can cause elevated tumor markers. Um, so like CEA uh, with certain treatments, when the treatment's working well, if the cancer cells die in a certain way, like the CEA protein um, on the surface of the cancer cells kind of yeah gets released into the bloodstream as those cancer cells are dying. This can cause an elevated CEA a level so you might kind of panic thinking this number's going up it should be going down um so yeah when we talk about generally when we talk about tumor markers we mean blood test um that is uh has a, a specific element matched to a uh, cancer lots and lots and lots of different tumor markers out there um, CA is associated with lots of different cancers, so that's a common one, but there are many others. Um, CA125 is associated with gynecological cancers. There was some um, idea that it may be useful for colorectal cancer patients if the cancer spread to the abdominal membrane. Um, recently I heard that larger studies found this wasn't particularly useful um so yeah it's it's kind of a tricky topic because for some patients regardless of what the cancer is doing or how much cancer there is the tumor markers are pretty steady uh, month in month out um Generally, you wouldn't want to make a treatment decision just based on tumor markers, I think. So if the tumor markers um, rise for a few months in a row, um, you might say this is of, uh, of concern. Uh, it's time for a scan. Um, yeah, so to make things a bit more complicated, um, for some reason, Americans often or American patients often call tumor markers biomarkers. Biomarker is really like a much more general term that just means something that measures something in the body. So blood pressure is a biomarker. Body temperature is a biomarker. Um, so it's a bit confusing. And then there are tests like CTC, like circulating tumor cell tests where a company, and it is a generally a company like a biotech startup will say we can test your blood for tumor cells that are like floating around in your blood and we'll give you like a score 
um, or they'll say we can look for free DNA that's kind of escaped from cancer in your body. Um, and again, we'll give you some kind of score. Um, this kind of, again, 2023, when I'm making this video, um, the hype does not match the um, robustness of these tests. The hype does not match the reality. Um, yeah, I don't want to get into any legal trouble, and I'm sure those companies are very well intentioned. Um, but the uh, yeah, I guess they're kind of quite careful with their wording. Um, but at least the way it's interpreted by patients is um, unfortunately very unrealistically, very unrealistic. So there are these people paying large amounts of money for expensive blood tests from various companies and uh, getting very excited or very concerned. Um, and uh, yeah, in 2023, um, those tests are not robust enough to be making treatment decisions or uh, anything like that. So I hope, um, yeah, I gave you some information of, of, um, of use about what tumor markers are.